My name is Nancy Shaorong Valentine, and I'm a water medium artist from Fergus Falls, Minnesota. I've been a creative kid my entire life, but I didn't really start my creative career until about 2016. I never thought of artistry as something to be pursued as a, a true career. And part of that is because I grew up in a, a Chinese immigrant household. I grew up with a single mother, an older brother, and a whole host of pretty incredible elder women around me. From a very creative grandmother who sang and danced to my mother who was a music teacher, I drew a lot of inspiration from the women around me, the nature around me, uh, and also my Chinese heritage. I grew up in Fergus Falls, which is you know, a predominantly white community. It, it was a wonderful community for me to grow up in, uh, but being one of very few Asian families meant that my upbringing was kind of a unique experience. There were a lot of times where I felt very isolated, um, very alone, very unique in who I was, and I didn't always see those as positive things. When I decided to pursue my creative career, it, it, it wasn't out of desire, it was actually out of necessity. Uh, I lived in an apartment that unfortunately got broken into and when I was seeking another place to live, the Cadets Artist Lofts in downtown Fergus Falls had an opening and the building manager, Karen Aurin, uh, decided to give me an interview. Now at the time I was not a dedicated artist, <laughs> but she gave me a chance. She heard my story, uh, she felt for me. She asked me if I was creative, and I shared that I had artistic inclination, but I'd never poured any serious thought into it. And she said, you know, I want to give you a safe place to live, but you're going to have to pour into your artistry if you are going to live here, because it's an artist loft. And so I took her seriously, and I made a commitment to practice something. <laughs> Uh, at the time, I, I had just moved, so I wasn't all that financially well off, and so I used the means I could to buy a Crayola watercolor palette, um, some cheap brushes, and some Canson watercolor paper from Walmart. From there, I created every day. I self-taught. I've never taken any actual classes other than the ones you take in junior high or high school. Um, but I did everything I could to research techniques online, practice them myself. I followed social media influencers just to understand their techniques. Um, and then after that, I decided, well, maybe I should apply for a grant. I don't have the means to afford these materials right now, but I want to be able to sell my work. And I decided to apply to the Lake Region Arts Council Career Development Grant in 2017. And by my surprise, uh, they awarded it to me. Uh, so from there, I was able to purchase high quality, professional artist grade materials, uh, and it really launched my career. So from there, uh, I started a series called Long Happy Life, and that really focused on the theme of my grandfather. My, um, my existence in my life in Fergus Falls is thanks to the sacrifice of so many before me. Um, China had the one-child policy at the time, and so because I have an older brother, my mother had to make the decision to come to the United States in order to give me life. Um, in 1997, my father passed away, and my grandparents decided to leave China to come help raise us. So from that point forward, uh, my Mandarin-speaking grandparents became uh, naturalized citizens, and from there, uh, they helped raise me and bring me into who I am today. I wanted to celebrate and honor their sacrifices and their choices. And so through, the, through that grant opportunity, I created a series called Long Happy Life. And it focused on my grandfather's immigration to Ottertail County. And it created a series of, I believe, 11 pieces that focused on him in different scenes in different communities throughout the county, uh, just doing things that he loved and enjoyed. Through that opportunity, I just grew in technique. Um, I had my first show, my first solo exhibition at a local coffee shop that no longer exists. And then from there, I just felt myself living in purpose. I felt myself processing life and connecting to the beauty of life in a way that I hadn't done before. I felt myself connecting to a cultural heritage I didn't feel as strongly connected to before. 
And so from there, uh, I just decided to marry this um, curiosity of culture to passion for creativity. And that's kind of brought me to my journey today. Um, a lot of my inspiration today is from my mother and from women. And so some of the series that have really brought me to where I am today have been uh, my focus on body positivity. I, I didn't create that series uh, based on any idea of what a woman should or should not be. It was a series created uh, just to show and celebrate the diversity of body in the feminine form. Um, much of my artistry you will find is intentional mark making, a lot of organic minimalist line marking, a lot of minimal color palettes um, with a lot of focus on the feminine form. I like to use abstract line work. I like to use traditional Chinese materials. Um, and I like to focus on themes that challenge traditional thinking or ideals of what beauty, hope, and artistry can be. Today, I have no shows booked. Uh, I had some planned, but you know, the pandemic has brought us uh, to a unique season. Um, I had a full exhibition schedule in 2020, and because of the coronavirus pandemic, I ended up having to cancel all of those. So my focus today is creating for myself. Um, I, I have just learned through this past year that I am not somebody that can create for um, an expectation or for someone else. If, if I'm going to create, it's got to be of its truest form, which is from me. And if other people enjoy that, I appreciate it. It is my greatest hope that what I am processing through what I am painting will connect with another person. Um, the most recent series I created was a mini-series of seven works called You Are Not Alone. I created that in response to the pandemic. I created seven different faces of friends that I needed. Those far away friends that I wasn't able to connect with throughout the pandemic that represented sentiments that I needed. Um, some of my favorites were titled, Fear is for them, not for you. You can do this, stop doubting yourself. You have no idea how incredible you are. Sentiments we all need to believe and need to remember. And so a lot of my work today is very intimate and vulnerable, um, but I can't create work that's not honest. And so I appreciate you taking the time to look at my artwork, listen to my story, um, and I hope that it connects with you.